Hi everyone, it's A Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We are still studying out emotional strongholds and we're still on fear. I'm looking at Proverbs 29 verse 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. And this is a good past scripture to memorize. Um, it really um, speaks exactly. And, and uh, you know, anybody who's tuning in on this, I'm sure you're smiling to yourself thinking this is so real. This is so true. A uh, fear of man can bring a sneer. And when you think of um, this, when you think of the fear of man, what do you think of? How does that show up in your life? Um, I know for me, um, I've had to work on overcoming fear of rejection. And um, I remember that was one of the things I had to really count the cost on when I was becoming a Christian, when I was getting, uh, yeah, when I was becoming a Christian in 1990. I had to think about, would I be able to, would I have the convictions to share my faith with someone I didn't know? And so I tried it out. I was on the train in New York and I invited the person to church. You know, in those days, I didn't know how to invite people to Jesus directly. So I invited them to church and I thought, wow, I can do that. You know, um, remember I was a baby Christian in those days, very fresh, but uh, that fear, um, you know, can hinder you. It can hinder your walk in God, with God. And it can hinder the blessings that God has for you. That fear of man hinder the ministry work that God has for you. Fear of man can also um, bring on just the fear of what people think about you. Think about your life. Think about um, uh, the decisions that you choose to make. Maybe friends turning away because you're Christian. People, you know, being afraid people are going to think you're a religious holy roller um, and not accept you. Um, being afraid to step on toes. Um, you know, it can become idolatrous in the sense of, um, you know, holding back on the things you love and what you believe in because you don't want to be uh, looked upon a certain way, judged or rejected or um you know, excluded from things that maybe, you know, people might not include you. You might not get the invitations <laughs> that you normally would. And so that is a snare because it definitely um, becomes idolatrous when we elevate people uh, to a level whereby um, you value um, them to the point where they can influence your decisions, the choices that you make where you live, where you go, you know, needing to be approved of by a group of people or by people who really um, don't know you, they don't pay your bills. <laughs> they, they, they don't really know you or even needing that approval from people who do know you, but really they can't die for your sins. They're not God. And so we have to, this is a good one, I think, for us to really look at and study out because a lot of the emotional strongholds, discouragement, you know, despair, depression, all of worry, these things at the root, when you examine it, at the root, it's fear. You know, fear is at the bottom. So in being able to dismantle and examine all these things as they show up in your life will help you to see it it's sort of like shining a light on it and you put the light on it the darkness has to flee it has to run right it says it brings a sneer it brings a sneer of people pleasing and it bring it can bring a sneer of um uh just really causing you to do things that you might not even want to do or like to do and i don't mean that it, it, sometimes we deny ourselves we do something we don't want to do out of love for someone and you know you're being self-sacrificial i'm not talking about that i'm talking about doing things you don't want to do that are not right it's not that you're denying yourself or trying to be it's that you're people pleasing <laughs> you know uh, wanting 
um, wanting to be liked and, and, you know, there's a fine line there. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be, everybody wants to be like, nobody wants people to don't, not like them, but it get that line is crossed over whereby that person's approval or disapproval can ruin you, ruin you. It can make you unhappy. It can, um, cause you to make decisions that you might not want to make or you don't agree with. So it becomes a sneer. It can become a, a trap and it can become a burden. And how to overcome it, it says here, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Because if you're putting your confidence in God, if you're safe in the Lord, first of all, you're going to believe what God says about you. And what the Bible says about you in Romans 8, it says that nothing can separate you from the love of God. You know, no no, no powers of hell, not even angels, it says, can separate you from the love of God, right? And so um, also it talks about that you are a child of God. You are a son or daughter of God and a new creation in God. And so you can believe what God says about you, that you are accepted, you were chosen, you know, and, and God moved in your heart to enable you to accept a relationship with Jesus, right? And so you are to view yourself from the, the lens that God looks at you through. And when God looks at you, he looks at you through Jesus because you're in Christ. And so you are as loved as Jesus is loved. You're as beloved and valued. Um, and so we can trust the Lord. And it says, we trust the Lord, we will be safe. You know, our, our mind is set that way. Our hearts are set that way. The decisions that we're making, we, they're sound decisions. So we're not gonna, you're not going to fall into depression because you feel like conflicted inside and then you feel angry at yourself. Or you're not going to um, give way to feelings of disappointment because you are trusting in the Lord and you understand he has your best interest in heart. You know what I mean? There's an example in the Bible with Lazarus. Remember Lazarus who was raised from the dead? It talked about when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, um, he waited two days. He waited until Lazarus died. And the scripture explains because he loved them, but because he loved them, he wanted to give them this gift, this testimony of being raised from the dead, of them seeing the power of God, of them seeing who he was, you know, and to have that victory in their life. Their names are in the Bible, but not only that, now no one can take away the type of faith they would have. And so sometimes things happen not to us, but for us. And so we can trust God. It says that if we trust him, we will be safe. It says so in this passage right here. So those are my insights about um, overcoming the fear of people. Uh, just remembering it brings a sneer. And that the choices and the decisions that you make, make them because, you know, it's what the Lord is showing you to do with your life. Live the life that God has called you to live. Um, and, you know, you don't need to apologize for it. Whosoever will may come. Those who God wants in your circle, God will pull them in your circle. You know, so those are my insights about this. I hope it blessed you and gave you food for thought. God bless you. Have a great day. Take care.